Hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I apologize, as you see, the screen is not coming right. And this is why I think I have to cancel this one because I cannot show you my screen correctly. If you look at the screen, you will see that half of the screen is missing and there is something wrong with the software and I could not figure it out and you guys are waiting. Um, so I will reschedule this one maybe tonight later, maybe tomorrow, but I need to figure out first how to fix this thing. I don't know what happened. I mean, I did nothing really in my computer, but looked like um, there is an issue and I'm not sure what it is. Um, I don't know if you can see, like if I, like now I have pictures in front of me, you will see not even, um, like in my side, it looked fine. But when you look at it in YouTube, uh, half of the picture is gone. So there is something wrong with the size. The picture is fine. I don't think so. Let me check. Because um, from my side, it shows wrong. See, like now you see the picture, but you don't see the pigs. You should, you're supposed to see the pigs there. There is pigs in the story there, you know. Yeah, you don't see the pigs. Um. <clears throat> oh, actually, now they are fine, huh? So how come from my side it shows wrong? Hmm, that's weird. It's a YouTube issue then. You see the pigs? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, all right, sound good. You know, all this time I'm working because in my browser here, it doesn't show. You see in YouTube, it show you like a screen to show you how it, uh, your broadcast will look like. I know what happened to YouTube, very weird. Anyway. Um, so, as long as it's working fine, that's a good news. I was going to uh, cancel it. I apologize for thinking it is not working. So now today we promise you to talk about how Allah created the pigs. Previously we spoke to you and we taught you about how Allah created what? Who remember? Anyone remember? How Allah created the cats. Allah, he made the lion sneeze because uh, they found, Noah, he found the mice in his ship. And you know, if the mice is there, his people, they said to him, his family, the mice will eat our food. Like, you know, so Allah, he made the lion have a flu. And then the lion, he sneezed. And then when he sneezed, a male cat and female cat came. Even in some stories, says only a cat. Uh, today, we are going to talk about the pigs. And I'm sure many of you is like wondering how the pigs and like Allah, he hate pigs. You see, Jesus will come and fight the pigs, right? So how Allah created the pigs? I mean, and why? Very weird, you know? If you look at the pictures of the pigs, uh, Islam is an anti-pigs religion. They hate pigs. Pig is their enemy. Look at his nose, man. Look at this. I mean, how you can be a prophet of Allah and your name is Muhammad and you like this face? No way. And this face is telling us that this animal is against Allah. I mean, we have to think logically. There's no way you are a prophet of God and you don't think that. Uh, Dawood, he is saying, isn't it biggest haram in, uh, for Christians? Uh, first of all, the word haram is a misunderstood uh, word. You see, what is forbidden for man to eat is for the benefit of the man, not the opposite, which means it's food at the end of the day. It's for your health. It's not God who will eat it. So when the Old Testament speak about what is good for you, it's about what is good for you to eat. It's not about it is really, uh, you know, God will send you to hell if you eat a pork, right? But the reason the pig was forbidden, let us say, as an, uh, as an order to eat, because pigs, they grow in the field, 
and they eat whatever they want not like today you put them in a farm and even they are cleaner than people these days you know so when we say a pig always we we imagine a wild beast a wild animal who live in the in the field and he eat anything and because at that time people they have you know war uh, bodies are left in the ground and pigs they will eat anything in their way anything and because of that for health issue the pigs were forbidden to eat and actually nothing changed uh, you know if you ask me I believe still that pigs are not healthy to eat but you see it's not for the benefit of God and it is not God who make pig an enemy to him that is very silly the pig is just an animal like any animal so the idea to make a pig an enemy of God that is a very stupid idea if we go in the hadith we will find that the Messiah when he come back In the judgment day, according to Muslims, according to Muhammad, he will fight with the pig and he will kill the pig. It's like a cowboy style. Imagine we have a person, his name is the Messiah, and right now he is in heaven, according to Islam. And then when he come back, he is going to have a fight with the pig and he will kill him. That is silly. So there's a huge difference between forbidden eating the pig and making the pig an enemy of God. That is very stupid and very silly. Because how small and how silly this God is to make a pig your enemy. Do we understand? So we are not talking about the pig, is it haram or not, as you are talking about. This is your problem, you know. This is a different issue. And the Bible says it clearly, Jesus said, it's not good to go inside your mouth, make you dirty, but what come from your mouth. So people understood, understood the Old Testament wrong, and Muslims obviously they are trying to copy the Jews, but they have no explanation for why you should not eat pork. They have no reason. But now Muhammad, he created reasons. Let us see the reasons. How Allah created the pig. This is Tafsir, this is at the book of Al Bidayah and Al Nihaya for Ibn Kathir, volume number one, page number 131. It says here that uh, when Noah he built. Uh, supposedly here the one is talking they are asking Isa 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 the prophet Isa brother they are asking Isa tell us about the ship of Noah he said the length of it it was a thousand and two hundred arms and the width of it is six hundred arms and it was a three floors one floor have animals and beast and one floor have a human and one floor have birds and when the poopoo -poo of the animal became too much Allah inspired Noah to bunch the tail of the elephant which means his ass and from it fail a male and female pig and then they start eating the poo-poo now here we understand the wisdom of Allah you see the pig is created for a reason to eat poo, poo So Noah is in the ship. Like put yourself in his place. 
and you have your animals and they are doing poo poo and now you have too much poo poo to the point you cannot even poo poo around and your ship became a poo poo ship Allah wanted to help Prophet Noah be upon him and then he said to him okay go and uh, put like a stick in the anus of the you know, pig, you know, and under his tail, and let us see what will happen. Noah, he listened to Allah. Now you might say I'm making things up. Let us use Google Translation. Translate to English. All right. So here they are asking. They ask Isa. Actually, the, there is a, some uh, introduction here I did not read. Maybe I should read to show you how faith his religion is. But we will go there, maybe later. Uh, actually, let us, uh, let us mention it. Why not? Just to show you how racist. If you remember, in the Old Testament, speak about the children uh, 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 of, of, uh, of Noah, and uh, supposedly, uh, he had three children, according the story here in the Muslim source. And the son of Noah, he saw his father naked. So Muhammad is copying, obviously, some from information from the Old Testament. But because he saw him naked, he saw him having, and he saw him having sex with his wife. Or he is totally naked when he was asleep. So he did not cover his father. And his father, he cursed him. And he cursed him. So he will have, Allah will change the sperm he have and will make it a black people. Do you see it? This is the racist cult of Islam. The Muslim, they say to you in the Old Testament, it says that the, the, the father of Ham, he, you know, he, uh, he cursed his son and uh, uh, he made him uh, black. Doesn't say any, anything about the black there. That's a lie. It says he will be a servant. This is a prophecy about the future. He will be a servant to his, his brothers. Here we see that the God of Muhammad and the Muslims believe that the reason they are black, the children of Ham, because his father cursed him to deform, deform his, his sperm. As you see, this is Google translation, not mine. I have nothing to do with it. And from it, he made the black people. This is additional evidence. And I hope people now, if a, if a Mohammedan, he says to you, uh, something about the Old Testament, you show him this. This is Ibn Kathir. This is not there. This is not my, this is not Christian Prince saying, uh, let me give you the link, but we need to shorten it first because it have Arabic uh, uh, in it and that will not be allowed to go in, uh, in the chat. Let us do this. I will give you the link. All right, give me a second. This is the link for those who seek reference. It's in Arabic, no problem, but still always you can use Google Translation. In order to remember it, what it is, just uh, make a note about what we said and what it shows in the translation so you can find it and you can find where it is. All right, you have to use Google Translation. Now, this is about Ham. And then they continue the story about supposedly speaking about Isa. This is supposedly Jesus. Isa, he rose, he rose uh, uh, Noah from the grave. Some story they say, he rose the son of Noah from the grave. The event in the in the in the fairy tale story teller. So, Imam Abu Jafar mentioned 
through Ali, etc., etc., from Ibn Abbas, etc., etc., as usual, that the disciples of Jesus, Isa, supposedly, son of Mary, they said to him, Can you bring us somebody from he was? Can you create from you know, can create can you bring back to life one of those who witnessed the ship of Noah? I mean, look how easy that request. I mean, can you bring us somebody from the world? So Jesus is God, obviously. You know, I mean, Islam is a very weird religion. How you say that Jesus is just a prophet, and then you are walking with this prophet, and you say to him, "Can you bring back to life one of those who was in the time of Noah?" I mean, what kind of request? This request he is not not only resurrecting the dead; he is creating him again because he is a sand already, he's dust. So can you bring us somebody he was a witness for the ship so he can tell us about it and then jesus or isa uh, he he said to them uh, follow me and he took them to little hell like you know like a, a, a like a, some high sand very fine sand And he hit the dirt with his uh, stick. He have a stick in his hand. And he said to them, do you know what is this? They said, Allah and the messenger know best, <laughs> as usual. He said, this is, uh, you know, Kaab is like you see the, the lower part of your, uh, if your feet, the back one, the one you, you you step on it. This is called cab. This is the where the where the, the heels of your shoes exactly. He said this is the heels of Ham, the son of Noah. But he is touching the sand with his stick. It's a sand, total sand. And then he said to them, he hit he hit the sand with his stick, and he said to him. Stand up by Allah. So the sand became a man, and Noah he stand up. Translation here is not really good, but you know, we are trying our best. In Arabic, it's so clear. In Arabic, it says, uh, So he hit the sand with his, uh, his stick, and he said to the son of Noah, Raise up by Allah permission. It, and then right away the man he stood up and he cleaning the dust from his clothing even he have a cloth on him and he have and his 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 head was full of a gray hair let us go back to the bad translation better than nothing so he said to him is that how you how you uh, how you perished which mean you 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 died and you have a gray hair he said no the guy he said no see translation is not coming really good uh, when I died, I was young, but I thought it was the hour. He thought this is the judgment day. And then I grew up, you know, and then I became old, like because I thought he thought this is the judgment day, his hair became a gray. Right. Hey, yeah. Yeah. You know, for me, uh, I, I, you know, my hair became a gray when I was 20 years old. Uh, you know, because I uh, I saw something very scary, you know, yeah. I saw uh, my neighbor, his wife, she was beating him. So, I, you know, I be, have a gray hair, true story. So anyway, so he said it was a thousand, so they asked him, he asked him, okay, what, how big was, uh, how big was the, tell us about the shape of Noah. So now they, before Isa, they were asking him about it, and now he is bringing to them a witness, a person who was weird, who was there to tell what happened. So he said it was 1,000 arm long, and 1,200 arm long, uh, 600 uh, arm wide, and uh, have uh, three floors. Each floor have like one uh, uh, for animals, two floors for animals, and one for a human being. And then and a, one, one a floor, have birds, one floor have people, one floor have animals and beasts. And then he said, uh, see, your translation is messed up. It doesn't show really uh, the the word about the, the, the garbage. I don't know what, what this is mean. 
um, what fee gems I don't know what this word means I don't know I have no idea I think Google some words could not translate so come in with own so anyway so when the the poo, -poo of the animals became so much Allah you see here the word Ramaza I think it, uh, it could not translate it so Allah he told uh, Noah to uh, uh, to hit the elephant in his bum in his anus under his uh, tail and from it a pig female pig and male pig came out and right away they start eating the poo, poo of the animals all right and here it says and Allah inspire uh, Noah to hit the lion between his eyes and from below a hole uh, a cat came out now this is a different report from the last one we mentioned you that you know lion he sneezes you remember you know yeah in this case in this scenario here uh, he hit him between his two eyes and from his nose uh, male cat and female cat came out all right now here we notice something very uh, very sad that in the year 2021 there is people believe in this madness in the year 2021 they believe that Jesus will come to fight with the pig and he will kill the pig in the year 2021 there is people they think that pig is the enemy of Allah this is telling you that a human being the brain is so shallow and so stupid you know we might be proud about uh, accomplishment etc but this is how easy to deceive a human being I mean how funny you can be more than this right somebody saying uh, Jesus never exists stop lying CP hey, my friend let's just to be sure that you are not a drunk can you tell me the date for this today because you might be a software the one who his name is a strange ways Kodak do you know what is the date today I don't think you are a real person I think you are a software otherwise prove me wrong and tell me the date I think you are just a software and you are not exist yourself if you are exist tell me the date can you I'm waiting for you to give me the date when you give it to me that's mean you are real and I will answer you those are software people they are not exist you know they are not real they are not real at all uh, like the, there is the only proof that you have for me now that you are exist if you can give me the date today to prove that you are thinking and you know what you are talking about but I don't think you are exist are you there Kodak are you there I think Kodak is not here is gone the stupid you do not know that your computer run by the date of Jesus your internet run by the date of Jesus your salary is paid by the date of Jesus and the clock you have in your phone run by the date of Jesus the whole world is running by the time of Jesus and yet you fool you are saying to me Jesus does exist that's mean you are very fool to the point all your life is running by Jesus and yet you believe Jesus doesn't exist so I advise you to run and go out of this universe you can speak to me without the people why what do you want to do with me and you alone you want to be with me with me alone what we will do together idiot 
Anyway, uh, so when I, when I say stupidity is amazing, I mean, I, I have tons of reasons to say that word. And people, they say to me, why you are you so aggressive with people? I mean, what people? Look at those people. Those people, what people? Look, they believe that you have to fight the pig. I mean, what people we are talking about? You see, we say that people are equal. Yes, in the eyes of God. But are they really equal when it's come to thinking? Are they equal when it's come to intelligence? And here we are not differentiating be, between, you know, uh, as an ethnic, no way. We are talking about individual. If you are a person believing the madness Muhammad is saying, then you have a problem. Like when Muhammad, he says the black dog is the devil. And then you will find the Muslim today teaching his children that the black dog is the devil. What we can say. And then you will find, uh, you know, uh, uh, a celebrity or an artist saying Islam is a good religion. Islam is against slavery, against uh, against racism. I mean, black dog is the devil. And we just showed you what they believe about why there is a children's who they are black. And we showed you before, if you remember, how Allah created the black people from the left shoulder of Adam. And he decided that all white people will go to heaven and all black people will go to hell according to Muhammad. And this is the hate in the front of your eyes. So today we have a kind of sickness where liars lie to you and those liars know nothing about what they are talking about. They are just going with the wave. You see when the flash flood come, when the flash flood come, either you go stand in the bank and you watch, or you go with it. If you go against it, it's going to go over you. And these days, because all the world is sponsored Islam, the lies about Islam, I mean from America to Russia to you, you name it, all government in the world, they sponsor Islam. They defend Islam. George Bush, Islam is peace. Obama, Islam is wonderful. Biden, Islam is great. I mean, you name it. But when we go and we check Islam, we find Islam have nothing to do with peace. Islam is very violent, offensive, violent offensive, not violent by offensive by talking. Islam teach hate. Islam adopt hate. Islam itself is nothing but hate. When we go to the Quran, we find the chapter 5 verse number 14 as an example. As an example, not limited. Where it says Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. In the Western world, and when I talk about Western world, I'm talking about YouTube, Twitter, all those mad companies who they are run by liberals. The second you quote something about hate in Islam, you are the bad person. But if you are a Muslim and you quote it teaching your followers not to like the Christians, not to love them, it's okay. But if you question the hate of Islam against the Christians, against the Jews, against the Hindus, against the atheists, against everybody, the atheists themselves, they stand with Islam, defending Islam. Actually, nobody defends Islam as much as atheists. And the funny, the atheists don't ask themselves this simple question. If I am an atheist under Islam, what will happen to me? <laughs> you know, crazy people. Crazy people. Weirdo. There was an organization in France. It was uh, uh, like uh, the government of France they, they decided to close this organization. It's called, I think it's called Islamophobia something. 
to stop Islamophobia, something like that. And this organization was sponsored by the French government for the last 10, 15 years. And now they found that this organization is sponsoring terrorism. And they close it. Took them all those years and all those victims to understand that Islam is a violent cult, stupid cult, fairy tale story cult. All those years. So, as you see, Islam is nothing but a bunch of collection stories, fairy tale stories, not even good for kids. You punch the tail of the elephant and the pig come from it, which is a true story. I was there. Actually, if you walk behind the elephant, you will see how many pigs come from his elephant each time he moves his tail. And just to show you how much they work so hard to deceive you. How much they work so hard to deceive you. If we go to Ibn Kathir, let us see Ibn Kathir. Give me a second. Okay. This is Ibn Kathir translation and the verse in the Quran. I found this web page which is better than the other page because the text is bigger. I could not find in Ibn Kathir translation of Ibn Kathir, the story of the elephant and the pigs are coming from his anus. Nowhere. Anyone see it? Nowhere. It's gone. That's it, the end of the page. Okay, what happened? If we go to Arabic Ibn Kathir, look what we will find. Totally different story. The Ibn Kathir Arabic have nothing to do with Ibn Kathir English. Why? This is telling you that the English version of Islam or Islam in a language other than Arabic is far away from the truth. Do you think they dropped the story by mistake? No, there is no way. No way. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. And let us translate to English. Tafsir Ibn Kathir, chapter 11, verse number 39. Let us go down and see the translation. Hmm. Read carefully. The translation is coming even way better than the previous one. So Allah the Almighty inspired him, Noah, he inspired Noah to wink the tail of the elephant. So he winked it and a male pig and female pig came from it. You see the word male and female because in Arabic, you know, the word pig is the same pig. I mean, the same word, but it's, uh, 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 you know, it show you if it's a male or female. That's why the word pig can, can mean twice because it's a male pig and female pig. And right away, they came to the dunk and they start eating it. So, because the animal poopoo increased, Allah wanted to find a solution. Think about it, you need a solution. And Allah is the God of any solution. Allah will solution you. I mean, who is smarter than Allah? Allah, He noticed that the, uh, the ship of Noah is going to drown if the poopoo -poo keep coming. Those animals keep pooping, 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 pooping. And I was wondering, like, you know, aren't they in the ocean? I mean, what's the point? 
And now one pig and one one male pig and one female pig, they will eat all the poo poo. And if you eat the poo poo, aren't they going to poo poo themselves? I mean, do you see how stupid the story? Let us say for the sake of argument, for a second, we are not smart at all. We are dummy. We are stupid. So Allah, he did create this pig to eat the poo poo because there was too much poo poo. Okay. But then the pigs themselves, aren't they going to do poo poo? Whatever they ate from their mouth is going to come from their anus. So what the how the, how the problem is solved? You tell me. I mean, how is slow the mind of a human being? I mean, I don't know what what is inside the head of a human being. We have rust, we have poo poo. Okay, so now we have a lot of poo poo. Now we bring the pigs and they will eat the poo poo. But then the pigs will do poo poo. So what we would do? Do want the link. This link is better than the previous link. But here you notice that this is Ibn Kathir, Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Why we cannot find it in the English? Make a note, make a note, if you are saving links, if you are a person trying to educate yourself, that this is cannot be found in the English translation of Ibn Kathir, as many, 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 many stories. Are you there? No, I'm here. You are there. English is very funny. People asking me, are you there? I posted the link already. You guys, you didn't see the link? Is the link showing or not? I mean, what is this? And then here they continue the story. After he winked the tail of the elephant or the anus of that elephant, the male pig and female pig came out and they start eating the donk. And when the mouse fell to the hollow of the ship, okay, Allah inspired Noah to strike the lion between his eyes. <whistles> Look, you have to be careful here. Allah is so much into details. You have to strike him between his eyes. Because if you strike him in different place, God, I mean, Allah knows what else can be created. Because you hit him between his two eyes, cat can come out from his nose. So he inspired him to strike the lion between his eyes of the lion, and he struck it and came out from his nostrils a sonore and sonora. You see, the, this is... Uh, Google could not translate because this is a male cat and female cat. And they came after the mouse. Like now we have Tom and Jerry. And look how all the problems of Noah being solved so fast, so easy. And please, 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 if you go to the zoo, don't do what Noah did. Noah is expert with hitting. He played karaoke. Don't get close to the lion and hit him in his nose and between his eyes. Don't be a fool, okay? He might eat you. Actually, he will eat you for sure. Disclaimer, 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 because now YouTube, they will say he is teaching people to do har harmless, harmless, harmonious, uh, dangerous uh, act. They will say, uh, Christian Prince, he told the people, go to the zoo and hit the lion before, you know, this is harmless, uh, you know, dangerous act. And then they will take the vadudu down. 
Only Noah can do that. Noah, he played karaoke, you know? Actually, maybe you do not know, Bruce Lee, he is descended from Noah. Yeah, this is why Noah, when he, you know, when he went in the ship, he did not even need a ladder, you know, like, and he was there. But that will not help him against the water. I mean, playing karate, you can, what you can do? I mean, still, you need, you need to survive. So, so he played karate and, you know, like, you know, you, you, hi, you know, like, you know, in the Chinese movies, they can, like, go over the trees, which is very nice. I used to do that before, you know, but now, you know, like, I'm, I became 17, so I became, like, I, I'm not so fast as before. So, true story. I mean, any Chinese movie, any American movies is more decent than the stories of Muhammad. I mean, Rambo, the guy who his gun never get empty. And Bruce Lee, who the guy who can jump five floors. Their story is more acceptable than any story we see in Islamic books. What is this? Anyone have an idea? And why we cannot find the story in the Arab, in the English translation? Hmm. And why Allah He curse the uh, the crow? You know the the black bird, because Noah he sent him and he found a dead body, like maybe floating in top of the water. So he was cursed that he will not go to the houses. I mean, if we continue reading the stories here, you will die laughing. But we cannot find those stories in the English translation. Hmm. Any Muslim have any comment? You know, in the old days, people don't have too much entertainment. Actually, they have zero entertainment. And the only entertainment they have is stories. The 1000 Night and Night, I don't know what the name of English of it, is a collection of all kinds of stories coming from everywhere, from India, from Persia, from Middle East, you, know, you name it. And Muhammad and his religion is nothing but collection of the 1000 Night stories. The Flying Carpet of Solomon. The flying horse of Solomon. The Satans who die for Solomon. The Satan who build statues in the synagogue for Solomon. But yet Islam says that we are against statues. Maybe many of you do not know, right? That Muslims, when they claim that Islam is against statues. They say to you, Muhammad, he destroyed all the statues again uh, around the Kaaba. And by the way, that is a proof again that Islam is a very tolerant religion. Before Muhammad, according to Muslim, there was more than 360 God around the Kaaba. What happened? In the same time, Muhammad, he come with a story saying that a prophet, his name is Solomon, as it says in chapter 34, verse number 13, that Satan's, they used to build to Solomon, chapter 34, verse number 13. They used to build for him synagogue 
full of statues. So what happened to this religion who is against the statues and statues is her own? Isn't it Muhammad the one who said, the one who make a picture or an image, Allah will bring him and he will ask him to blow in it, to create, to make it alive? This religion does not match itself. A strange way, Kodak, you know, it's time to use Sony. So get lost. You are here just being a stupid idiot, talking about Jesus as exists or not. Who cares if you believe he exists or not? Go ask your mommy when she gave birth to you, she will tell you you are born according to the year of Jesus. So if we delay that day, that's mean you we have to, to shuffle you back from where you came from. You are just an idiot. I feel sorry for you. You will spend your day just talking about Jesus was exist or not. That's what you have for us. I mean, the last 60 minutes since I started, you have nothing except Jesus does exist. Jesus does not exist. No wonder your name is Kodak. Nobody use Kodak no more. Kodak. What's wrong with you? Unbelievable. I mean, you see, very weird people. Jesus does not exist. Oh, okay, he is not. That even make you more stupid. Because he is not, and you are using his date for everything in your life. Make a revolutionary against the date. Fight it. Do something. Stop using it. Break your computer. Look at the computer. It says February. Look, look. Let me show you, Abdul. Let me show you. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Let me show you. It says now, February, huh? February 449. February 3. Mm -hmm. According to what? February 3, 4, 49, 221. According to Jesus. Petito. Don't get married, okay? By the time you finish your topic with your wife about if Jesus was exist or not, your, your wife, she will have 10 boyfriends before you finish it. And then she will ask you to bring the Kodak picture to take a video, to take a, take a picture for her selfie with her boy new boyfriend. Idiot. I like the word idiot when, the, when this guy, he... What's his name? The Pink Panther? He say idiot, idiot, you know? By the way, like, I, I learned how to say a hamburger, you know? Like, I was, you know, I used to say it, like, as before, you know, like, a hamburger, you know? But now, alhamdulillah, my language, since I hit the, uh, the lion between his uh, eyes, and the cat came, and we said, me and the cat, like, she say, yo, I say hamburger, and we, like, and I say hamburger, the hamburger come, and she eat it, and, you know, we are doing great. It's true story. All right. There's nothing is called Islamic calendar. Somebody asking, Henry is asking, how they have Islamic calendar. My friend, they don't have calendar. Islam destroy the calendar. The Muslims before Islam, they used to follow, I mean, the Arab, before Islam used to follow the lunar calendar, which is not the calendar created by them. But since Islam came, and then the Muslim decide to change the they keep the same the same names for the month. The month is. They keep everything. But then what they did, they switched the new year. <laughs> so they started from the day of immigration. The day of immigration. When Muhammad he immigrated from Mecca to Medina. And since then you will find that Ramadan. Sometime come in July, sometime come in January, sometime come in February, sometime come in March. The birth of Muhammad, if we if we search right now, just because to show you how stupid this this uh, calendar is, if we if we can call it calendar. 
if we search in Google, Muhammad birth date calendar. Shall we? Let us see. Just to show you how stupid silly this calendar is. Muhammad was born in the year 2016, according to said in, in December 12th. When? December 12th. Ah, okay. But in 2017, he was born in December 1. Mm -hmm. But in 2018, he was born in November 21. Mm -hmm. In, in, but in, in 2019, he was born in November 9. Like, what? In 220, he was born in October 29. Like, what the heck? In 221, he is born in Tuesday, October 19. Like, what? Now, if we continue the story, we'll keep going, and then you will find yourself, Muhammad is born in August. In September. <laughs> So what calendar is that? <laughs> this is this is a calendar. Hey mom, I was born in September or in December. My son, you are I gave birth to you according to Allah calendar. It's messed up. So sometime you are born in the middle of the heat season and sometime you are born in the snow days. Like what? What what? This is a calendar. So when you say it's a calendar, you know, the calendar they have is like this guy Kodak, you know? Kodak, I can't do better. Where's Kodak? Call Kodak. You can take a picture of it. Hey, Kodak, as long you are too much into, uh, 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 like, existence. <laughs> anyway, anyway. I think we have enough for today. I apologize for being late because, you know, for some reason in my screen, it showed me I'm showing I'm showing you like half of the screen, you know, I don't know why. So I was trying to fix it, but look like it's coming fine. So I want to say, guys, thank you very much. Download the video. Don't, as you know, I don't keep my videos. So download them. And if you don't find them anymore, find those who download my videos and they load them right away and subscribe to them. And don't forget, if you are a person who speak languages, to do translate and to give you to make it simple for you. You do not need to translate the whole video. You can cut the video. Or let us say how Allah created the pig. Cut that part. Make it short, 10 minutes. You know, let's say take the cheese of the video. Cheese, you know. Yeah. Uh, yesterday they were talking in, in, uh, in Fox News that uh, if you eat a cheese, you will not age. And today I'm saying to myself, how many women they will start buying cheese like crazy? Mean. What this guy in the TV did, I'm sure the cheese companies, they paid him to do that. If you eat cheese, you don't age. You are right. So how come the one who make the cheese is so old? I mean, did you see him? Those who make a cheese and they sell it, they eat cheese every day. I mean, nobody eats cheese as much as they do, but they eat like everybody. <laughs> this is how they fool, you know, people in the media. One day I used to work in a newspaper. So we, you know, there's an article. I, I wasn't writing. I was just correcting the Arabic, uh, you know, uh, before they publish. So uh, for a few months, they are talking about the benefit of drinking tea. Okay, tea is amazing, have a lot of benefit. I mean, the tea is like a solution for everything, like the honey of Muhammad or the camel urine. And then after that, they start writing articles about that tea is bad and can cause cancer and coffee is the best drink. So I asked the guy who's in charge, I said, what happened? We were, what happened to the tea is so good. He said, now the one who sponsored the newspaper is coffee companies. So we have to flip. <laughs> for a few months, <laughs> the <laughs> the tea was was the best few months after the tea would cause you cancer and the coffee is the best to drink so this is how they fool you i just want to mention that never never trust anything they say to you in the news 
It's just a lie. And the fool is always there waiting for the light to bite on it. So don't fail into their scam. All right. Otherwise, nobody die. You just eat a cheese, my friend. Cheese. Uh huh. Ah, I don't want to talk about cheese now. There's some hadith about cheese. Should I talk about them? Yeah. Uh, actually, there's a Muslim. He posted a, 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 a verse from the Old Testament. Have the word cheese. I will talk about it maybe next time when we go live so we can love together. I just remember. So I want to say, guys, thank you very much. Am I going to be here tonight? I'm not sure. I'm going to talk to Kodak and we discuss because he said to he's he said he wanna to talk to me alone, you know, like so I will set me and Kodak alone, you know. And he say, Hey Kodak, do you think it's good time for Sony to go like you know, what do you think? So if Kodak he says come at night, then okay, Kodak he says so because this is the only hey uh, Abbas is here. Abbas is here. How are you, Abbas? Edmund Rose, yes, to east, northeast, southeast. You stupid Abbas. You see, you see, look, look, let's just show you how stupid you work. To east is northeast. Did your God Allah even say northeast or he says to east? And just to show you that this guy Abbas, the pizza boy, he is just so stupid. You know, I'm not insulting you, by the way. I'm insulting the stupid ones by calling you stupid. Abbas, if we go right now and see the interpretation for this verse, what we will find? We will find what you are saying or, the, or totally the opposite. You are stupid, Abbas. According to the interpretation that the east of the winter and the east of the, the summer, but this guy, potato, Potato. Did you download Pal Talk Abbas? Or you are driving? <laughs> so, you know, the, the funny is that people like this poor guy, they are so desperate trying to find a solution. Okay, south, southeast and northeast, huh? Okay. Huh? See? We find solution. This is what the Quran is saying. Are you sure? When the Quran in chapter 55, verse number 17, says so, shall we go to Ibn Kathir and see what Ibn Kathir says? Or a Jalalain or a Tabari? Or we go to Abbas the potato in the chat? Which one is going to know better? Abbas in the chat. He knew everything. This guy is a pizza pizza specialist. He have a PhD in pizza delivery. Very well educated. All of them, they are very, very much educated, brother. So chapter 55, verse number 17. Shall we go there? Let us go there. What do you think, Ab Abbas? Abbas, Abbas. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I'm done, but just to give Abbas a little spank so he can enjoy the rest of the day. Because if he don't get, it, he will, he will be like, uh oh, something is missing. His day is 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 being ruined. <laughs> Abbas potato. <laughs> when you try to give explanation according to you, people will laugh at you, brother. And they will call you potato. In the best scenario, they will call you hummus. This is Tafsir al Jalalain, the Lord of the two East, the, the winter sunrise and the summer the summer the, sun, the, the summer sunrise. Same for the West. So your stupid Quran claiming that there is two East and two West. Why? Because they notice that there is, okay, the sun in the winter is coming from here, but in the summer, it's coming from here. So the author of the Quran, the potato, he come with the solution, and the solution is there is two East and two West. But according to Abbas, yes, brother, isn't it there's northeast and world and southeast? <laughs> uh, 
What type of data you are? I feel sorry for you, Abbas. Abbas, did you eat today? There's, you know, there's one thing. I, I don't want to be, I wouldn't want to be personal, but I, I respect his family. I'm just joking. But imagine yourself the wife of Abbas, and every morning you hear this guy talking. Mean. This is Tafsir Ibn Abbas. Here we go. I get you your cousin, the cousin of the Prophet, the Lord of the two east, the east of the winter and the east of the summer. Do you see it? Shall I show you Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari? You are just a silly person, man. You are just a kid. Right? You are just a kid. You will call me tomorrow, inshallah. Tell me, tell, tell me, me hijab to say inshallah next time when he talk. <laughs> a guy he claimed to be very religious, and he is defending Islam. He never say the word inshallah. And there's a Muslim in the in the comment section. He said, Christian Prince asking give me, me hijab inshallah. You eat it, don't you know that the one who don't say inshallah in Islam is not a Muslim? The one who don't say inshallah about something he will do in the future. That's mean he can't predict what will happen. Do you know that the word inshallah was forced by the Jew to Muhammad? <laughs> Muhammad the potato. <laughs> you know, always the Jews they cut Muhammad busted and Muhammad he we will make we will make a special video about it. That is because if we continue talking, it's endless. Anyway, guys, I think it's time for us to go. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And we apologize for the delay today. And I hope to see you soon again. And love to everybody. And we love the Muslims. But Islam is a stupid. Sorry, Muslims. We love you, yes. We care for you. And because we care for you, we will not accept such a garbage. Garbage in, garbage out. Islam is made by a silly man. His name is Muhammad. And actually, his name is not Muhammad at all. But this is one of the names you created for him and nobody knows his real name save Allah and Ibn Kathir where he says that when his uncle gave him birth he gave, you know he, he you know like his mother she gave birth to him he called him Qatham and then you change his name this is your books not my books not my books all right thank you very much all right so anyway thank you guys for being here bless you pray for you and we pray for everybody around the world to be protected from the disease and the illness and we pray for your health and your wealth your family and we pray for the Muslim too to have a good life and uh, not to have four wives because that will bring you for mother-in-law Muhammad he created a big problem for you four wives for mother-in-law just imagine it don't do it you will be sorry you've been warned Take care.